Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It's a part of their fresh series which is named as a Chernobyl and it's already fourth kit. It comes in 135 scale as is written here and it copies the activator so there should be four guys in this set and it might be an interesting project for these modellers who would like to copy something unusual and of course it should be already available because we have a commercial sample so so it means you will get exactly the same stuff, nothing will change. So it's the final form of this kit. And first of all, I would like to know the box art, it's really nice here. And I think it might be a great poster as well. So who knows, maybe we'll see them in the future. And box size is typical for ICM as well. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Next, on the side we have some information about this kit. We can zoom in a bit so that it will be easier to read. So there are 28 parts for assembly of four figures, 22 parts for equipment and the Rama base just like in the previous releases. We also have a short history note about Chernobyl obviously and on the other side we have all four guys depicted in a, let's say simple marking guide so that you understand what you get in this kit. And everything is sealed with a sticky tape on the sides so I'm going to use a sharp knife in order to open it and then we will check everything together so just give me a second. And in the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. We have a special donate button on our website and it is done via PayPal. So it should be accessible via desktop version of our website. And of course you will be the one who will be deciding how much we will get, but all this money, all proceeds will be used for new floating video equipment and also for new kits which we will be checking together. So box structure here is typical for this brand. We have color printed top lid, which I will show in a second. Here it is. As you can see it's quite thin, it does not provide any protection. It is purely for art for the box art and next we have sturdy white cardboard box which actually protects everything inside all the parts so i'm going to open it as well and here we have two plastic screws which are packed into the same plastic bag so i'm going to open them first and we will take a look at what is actually included here So before we start I have to remind that this is a 130 second scale, maybe first of all I would show you this small tube which is included into this kit, here it is, it might be handy for equipment. Next we continue with a small sprue which copies various equipment for these figures. I don't think that there will be some spare parts here but we will have to check the assembly manual. We can also zoom in a bit more so that you can see these parts closer. Molding quality looks really nice so I don't have anything to complain about. And you can notice that large items should be glued out of two holes so be ready for that. And if you flip it over, let's check. Just give me a second. So here is the other side. So there are some guiding elements, so it won't be that difficult to combine them together and get the right fitment. Just be careful while doing this and you will be fine. Next we continue with a large gray plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated to four figures and here we have quite an interesting parts division. So once again I remind that this is a 130 second scale and that's why we have separate legs, hands and torso but here figure is molded as a single piece part which is quite unusual for 135 scale. But we can zoom in so that you can see these parts closer. Here they are. So first of all this figure in this suit and you can notice that body is molded together with head and only hands and legs are separate and actually legs will be inserted inside but we will see it a bit later when I will flip over this sprue. Here we continue with another guy this time he is in the gas mask and in the separate head so this one is a more I would say conventional when we talk about 135 scale in the next corner we can see another guy which is designed let's say in the same way so you will get separate hands, legs, torso and head and that's really cool that we have separate head because it will let you paint head without using some additional tools and masks and basically you can paint head itself separately as well and then install it on the head 
so it's really good porous design and here we have fourth figure so this one again in the special chemical suit we also have him in the gas mask but facial features look really good so i don't have anything to note here because here you can check them with your own eyes of course googles are also promoted and know that he has some tools in his hands so be careful not to break it apart and if you flip it over here inside you can notice that there are no guiding pins whatsoever so be careful while joining all this stuff together and why i'm mentioning this because if you move here you can notice that these two halves they do not have any alignment elements which will help you for uh, proper position of these parts together and they're quite big so i mean for 135 scale they're quite big so be careful while working with them and the only question which i have is how wax will be placed i guess they will be fixed with help of this uh, tab so basically they will be let's say pushing into this tab and this way you will get the right position and also adjust them to the proper length so that it would look natural on your figure but who knows i mean we have to check the assembly manual but again overall molding quality looks really good so I don't think you will have any issues here. And next I would like to show you the, let's say, traditional bonus for this series. So that's a special cardboard base and it comes like this. Maybe I'll zoom out a bit more. Yeah, now you can see. So as you can see, it's a quite simple structure. Yet it is quite effective because as you can see it gives you a image of the street in this city which is really cool it somehow let's say relates to what we saw on the box art and it comes folded in the box so just like this so it won't be damaged and the only thing required from you is just to bend this flap glue it into the place and you'll be good to go and next we have assembly manual so this one is also typical for figure sets from icm so here you can see that we have parts map on the first page and also we have parts number in here as well we have paints chart and some safety devices next on the other side we have assembly manual which is combined together with a marking guide so be sure to follow these instructions but i would recommend also to find some actual photos of the activators because it would be interesting to copy some minor features on your figures this is 135 scale so you might play with some additional features on your deactivators and as i said this is a final form of this kit so you will get exactly the same stuff it should be already available you can get it for example in Madelimex. and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about this release write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye